Kirby Smart making moves, of course, on the recruiting trail, but the transfer portal is still humming, and it's got a beeline directly to Athens, Georgia. We got Palmer Toms on the line from Dogs 247 Sports to break down Eric Gilbert, tight end from LSU, of course, 35 catches, two touchdowns. We covered that in a previous video. Check it out. And Darian Kendrick to help this Georgia secondary. Palmer, this is a huge addition. Yeah, like I said, earlier uh you know this is this kind of some chaos that we expected to see in june but it's coming via the transfer portal rather than traditional recruiting and and that's kind of you know the the era of college football that we're in now that you know you're gonna see guys uh you know moving from school to school and and making an immediate impact and, and that's what georgia fans are expecting with darian kendrick uh former five star he was a wide receiver coming out of high school uh five star wide receiver that committed to clemson uh, played in 39 games for the Tigers over the last three seasons, started 23 of those. Um, and, you know, what, after he made the move from wide receiver to cornerback, uh, 2018 to 2019, he was selected second team, all ACC, first team in 2020. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it is a position of need. It was a position of need for Georgia, and, and they're filling it uh, big time here with Kendrick. Yeah, Kendrick, as you mentioned, uh, quite a bit of experience. Uh, started out as a wide receiver, only caught a couple passes there. But then, uh, yeah, the transition to cornerback and became an all-conference performer, played in a lot of big games as well, of course, with Clemson advancing to the college football playoff and a national championship in 2019. So he's got, uh, again, big game experience, and Georgia wants exactly that in addition to the talent in the secondary. So with Darian Kendrick, huge addition, Ty Key Smith, second team All-American, first team All-Big 12 performer out of West Virginia. How do you think they uh, play out in regards to their roles in the secondary? Yeah, and, and, and going back to what you said about big games, Kendrick's going to have a big game to start his career in Athens uh, against his former teammates in the Clemson Tigers on uh, September 4th. You know, that's going to be a massive massive opening game in in charlotte and you know two heavyweight programs uh you know going at it and i, I think you know i i feel certain that he's going to be hearing from some of his former teammates when he's uh out there between the lines uh you know just going back to what you said about tyke smith adding tyke smith out of the transfer portal from west virginia georgia also adds brandon turnage uh former alabama defensive back out of the portal um, you know, this is the third defensive back that Georgia has added and, and I, they really needed it because if you look back at what they lost in the secondary, uh, you know, Eric Stokes was selected in the first round. Tyson Campbell was selected with the first pick of the second round. So, it's, you know, two guys selected in the top 50, uh, you know, in the NFL draft this past spring, Tyreek Stevenson transfers out. He started at corner you know, primarily played at star, but started at corner with both of those guys, uh, actually with Stokes sitting out of the bowl game, DJ Daniel was in the rotation at corner. He's now gone. Mark Webb was a star. He's now gone. And then the safety account, uh, you know, Georgia loses a lot from this, its secondary last season. And, and that was an area of concern headed into this off season. I think it was expected that Georgia would attack the transfer portal with it, uh, with that need. And, and they certainly have done so here. Um, It'll be interesting to see because, you know, I, I've, I've been talking to some people saying, uh, you know, I think Georgia feels confident in what they have at safety. Uh, they got a lot of experience without Richard LeCount back there after he went down with an injury on October 31st uh, this past season. You know, they, they saw what they had in, in Chris Smith. They obviously have seen a lot of Lewis Seen back there. Those two guys are going to man the safety position. But what's what's huge about this is that they can have some depth at safety position. Uh, you know, they lose major burns to the transfer portal. You know, th they can now potentially cross train Tyke Smith there. Uh, Brandon Turnage is a guy who can kind of do it all in the secondary. Uh, and, and then you've got some other guys that have some experience. William Poole, Latavius Brinney, uh, two guys that have been around the program for a while that you can cross train uh, either to play star or safety. I think Smith is probably going to be the guy that mans the safe, the star position, uh, which is a really important one in Georgia's defense, um, you know, out there most of the time. Uh, and, and when they go to a dime package, you're likely to see uh, turnage in there as well. Uh, he's kind of a guy that, you know, is a hybrid between 
a safety and a corner. And, and that's exactly what you want in that dime package when you need, you know, the ability to tackle, but you also got to have the ability to cover in space. Uh, but the addition of uh, Kendrick here makes the cornerback position the most interesting of those three. Uh, you know, I think, you know, that was certainly a concern of Georgia's this spring. They hadn't added anyone. So they went through spring practice with, you know, the guys that they had, Amir Speed, Jalen Kimber, Keely Ringo, uh, Nylon Green as well. He's a true freshman that's coming in. Um, those first three that I named, Speed, Kimber, and Ringo, were kind of a notch above the rest at corner, and it looked like that those three would be competing for the two spots, and, and likely those three would be rotating for the in the two spots. Uh, and, and you may see Green in there as well. But now with the experience that Kendrick brings to the table, you've got to count him in as one of those spots. You mentioned the big games that he's played in. You know, Georgia wants to be on that same stage. And, and so, you know, to have a guy with that kind of experience, it's, it's going to be incredibly valuable for Georgia. And Palmer, just to extend on your earlier point, just when we thought that there could be no other added component to to increase the luster of this game, yeah, you get that uh, little revenge kind of uh, 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 a teammate playing against his former team component. Uh, so we didn't think uh, that that would actually buy into this. But here we go with just another reason to check out Clemson in Georgia and for uh, the um, the competition on the field to be uh, pretty intriguing between those two. And just to clarify something, uh, Darian Kendrick certainly was very upfront about his issues and uh, taking accountability and blame for what he did. Hold no vendettas against Dabo Sweeney or Clemson said they didn't do anything wrong. I was treated well there. It was all on me. Uh, so from that standpoint, uh, stand up um, recent uh, accountability out of Darian Kendrick. Hopefully his issues are behind him and he can concentrate on his football career, but it's because it's certainly uh, bright. Uh, Palmer Toms, Dogs 2 for 7 Sports, has a lot going on. Palmer, we always appreciate you stopping by to uh, give us some insight. Happy to be joining you today, and, and feel certain that I'll be joining you sometime soon with the rest of this month and the craziness that plays out.